I never trained for a bitch. Got rich, still didn't switch. Might split a meal with the click. Fake love, I don't feel that shit. I spent a dub on a fit. Named Google Tensor, the chipset lineup is the result of an enduring partnership with the semiconductor division and Google's own engineering talent. And as we are slowly closing toward the launch of Google Pixel 8, speculations regarding Tensor G3 have been popping out left and right. Thanks to a source inside Google, concrete data regarding the processor of Google Pixel 8 is out. Codenamed Zuma, we now have all the things required to get an early glimpse of the Google Tensor G3. So, let's see how it will actually compare with the predecessors. Google Tensor G2, found in Pixel 7 series, was a rather uninspiring chipset. Its CPU performance was lackluster when compared with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. After all, when the Google Pixel 7 devices were released, the cores of CPU were already two generations behind the competition. The Tensor G2 chipset came with a 4 plus 2 plus 2 core layout. In comparison, most of the other chip vendors utilized the 4 plus 3 plus 1 layout with a single big core. So the only processor change that Google Pixel 7 saw from Pixel 6 series was a mid-cluster upgrade. Tensor G3, Google will finally make the Pixel 8 series more up-to-date. Google has entirely remodeled the CPU block. It will use 2022 ARM version 9 cores. Google has also modified the core layout. Therefore, the new devices will not come with an unusual 4 plus 2 plus 2 setup. The Tensor G3 of Google Pixel 8 will come with 9 CPU cores. Among them, 4 are Little Cortex A510, 4 are Little Cortex A710, 4 are Cortex X3. All these cores saw a significant boost in terms of frequencies and performance, jump from the Tensor G2. The configuration with frequency boost will make the Tensor G3 compete with the performance of 2022 flagship system on chips. But yes, the Google Pixel 8 series will fall slightly behind the chips that utilize the recently launched ARM version, 9.2 cores. Google Pixel 8 devices will require is a robust cooling system with the new configuration of the system on chip, or it will not be able to offer the best possible performance. But considering how good the leaked renders and schematics look, I believe Google will not disappoint in terms of thermals with an all-new redesigned internal cooling system. Google Pixel 8 series will enjoy new security technologies. The Tensor G3 will bring ARM's memory tagging extension technology to the new Pixel devices. This technology is efficient at preventing some memory-based attacks, as well as zero-click attacks, which became famous a couple years ago. This offers you a peace of mind against sophisticated and malicious attacks. Other phones already have this support, but the support is only on the hardware end. Android 13 did enable this feature natively. The bootloader of Pixel 8 will be the first to introduce it in the Android space on the software side. Another big change is the 64-bit only code execution, but that's not really a new thing as Pixel 7 series already dropped support for legacy 32-bit apps. However, Tensor G2 DIT apps, however, Tensor G2 DIT libraries on board, along with 32-bit libraries on board along with 32-bit capable cores. But this will change with the Google Pixel 8 series, moving to 64-bit only. The devices will ship exclusively with 64-bit binaries. The Tensor G3 in the Google Pixel 8 series will finally bring an upgrade to the video block. It will be the first ever chipset with Avon encoded within and will make the phone reduce the video's bitrate without compromising the quality of the video recording, making for high-quality 4K videos with a smaller file size. Google has always focused the graphics unit on the Tensor lineup. While the inside source did not provide an exact core count, it will likely feature a 10-core setup. This will eventually complete the Tensor G3's GPU with full-fledged ray tracing capabilities. So you can expect to get a better overall gaming experience with the Google Pixel 8. Aside from all these, the Google Tensor G3 will bring an improved TPU for AI. Smartness. The Tensor G3 has an improved TPU version, codenamed Rio. 
There will also be faster UFS memory 4.0 that will make the phone handle greater loads with higher overall efficiency. Also, there will be GXP to offload more processing. Thank you for watching. We are the home of hashtag Team Pixel. Please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for all the latest news and reviews and reviews in the mobile technology world.